What widely accepted Reddit tropes are just not true in your experience? Spend any amount of time on a dating or relationship sub and you'd think the average man and woman are just seething with hatred toward each other. Maybe I just have an exceptional group of friends from both sides, but thankfully that doesn't represent my reality. I've got a two for mental illness is either super easy to fix with healthy lifestyle, or it's terminally crippling and kills you entirely. Many many of us are out there doing it all right but still just struggling coping. The am I the asshole? Final judgment can be wrong. You don't have to divorce your wife if she bought a $200 laptop without consulting you first. Just because someone lies to you it doesn't mean that they are gaslighting you. Gaslighting is different than just lying and it's used in abusive controlling situations by manipulative people. Bob from accounting who denied eating an extra piece of cake isn't a dangerous man who is gaslighting everyone in the office, he just likes cake. I'm a dad that does plenty of stuff with my kids without my wife around. I've never gotten a sideways look or rude comment for being on a playground around kids or saying hi to a child nearby. If you visit UK subreddits, you'd be forgiven for thinking the whole country is full of antisocial people who hate their colleagues and are scared of the slightest confrontation. In reality, most of us are pretty normal. That if someone yells at you or loses their temper once, they are a violent person who can never change. That you can never have friends at your job everybody is just waiting to stab you in the back for that next promotion or whatever. It portrays everyone besides you, the main character, as a mindless, selfish corporate drone, who only thinks about themselves. I spend most of my time at work, why wouldn't I want to get along with the people there? Everyone's being gaslit. Not everyone you don't get along with is a narcissist, sometimes you just don't get along. I also don't hear that term thrown around so casually in real life. That more upvotes means that comment is more valid than others. That empty shops selling actual stuff are all probably money laundering fronts. Edit many, many replies to this are kinda proving my point. No, that person did not deserve to be shot beat up left homeless cheated on, etc. 99 of the time. People fuck up. It's part of being human and not every mistake requires a life-altering punishment. In real life, when people ask what your job is in conversation, they are usually not doing it to gauge how much respect they should give you or how rich you are or anything like that, they are just trying to see what you're interested in so they have something to talk to you about. That Reddit is a place for intellectual discourse when really it's a place for echo chambers and circle jerking. Not everything is an ADHD symptom. Taco Bell leading to immediate diarrhea. I haven't had it in years but used to have it semi-regular, not once had it led me to gastrointestinal distress. So either Redditors have really delicate constitutions or Taco Bell blowing mud is just lazy humor for the collective. Oh you have a problem in your relationship? Better break up. Oh you're a night owl and your wife is an early bird? You're fundamentally incompatible. Break up. I understand Redditors warning other Redditors that they are in an abusive relationship, but a lot of the time problems can be fixed. Open marriage and polyamory are not widespread in the liberal world, but niche group of people. Our buy it for life would have you believe that unless you shell out good money for every last thing you own, you're bound to regret it once the cheaper option inevitably fails on you within a ridiculously short period of time. Let me tell you all something. There is no need to buy a $50 water bottle instead of a $10 one unless your preferred method of handling is to drag it across asphalt to and from work daily. There is also no need to drop $300 400 on a pair of REAL leather work boots unless your work actually requires it. This site loves the word narcissus so much, it no longer means anything. That going to a trade school sets you up to automatically make six figures in a couple of years. It isn't inevitable or normal for you to be pulling muscles and having pains doing simple shit in your 30s. You're not getting old. You got sedentary. There aren't nearly that many people who have had threesomes, nor have there been anywhere near the amount of times people came close to one. 
that the answer to everything is worst case scenario. Break up never speak to them again cut all ties. Slow down there, see biscuit. Let's try some solutions first before setting fire to everything. That therapy is the answer to all questions and problems. Yes, therapy can help. But most of the time simple thinking and communicating get you all the way. Furthermore therapy is not easily available in large parts of the world even in western societies like Germany. All right, I'll say it a banana doesn't really give me a very accurate sense of scale, bananas can come in so many shapes and sizes. Not everyone rather die than small talk with their co-workers. Believe it or not, most people love their kids and don't regret having them. Not one time in 39 years of life has a woman give me a hard time for opening a door for her. Not one time in 39 years have I so much as gotten the side eye for interacting with kids in public without a woman near me. Every man who so much as looks at a child is constantly attacked and harassed for being a pedophile. In reality, most people don't give a shit. That Redditors are all virgins living in their parents' basement. I happen to live in my parents' attic. That you can't have a reasonable back and forth with people you disagree with. Best of Reddit is not usually the best of Reddit. I'm a short dude and have literally never had problems with dating or finding partners whatsoever. Reddit makes it seem like if you're a short guy you're somehow unable to be found attractive, especially not by women who would generally be considered beautiful keepers, but that's not been my experience at all. That every relationship-related post is immediately taken over by people who only ever advise the OP to break up with their partner with zero nuance. Post visibility is determined by upvotes of course you'll end up seeing the most egregious examples of dysfunctionality unless you sort by new same with most other similar subreddits. I feel like a lot of this stereotype comes from people disagreeing with the dump him advice, which is a wholly different topic although one with potentially interesting insights as to people's various sensitivity to bad domestic situations. The typical know-it-all top comment being right. It's easy to fall into that trap until it's about something you actually know about. Edit OK, why does this have 12k upvotes and 4 awards? It's like 2 sentences. That all of Reddit is toxic. There are plenty supportive subs that give good advice. And the hobby subs can be pretty understanding with newbies. Our Ask Men has regular posts about how a father can never go out to a restaurant, shopping, or a park with his own biological children or women are just going to walk up to him and bully the guy for babysitting, huh? Or that they are even going to call the police and frame the guy as a child molester. If you make the mistake of saying I'm in my 30s and I have never seen this happen to any dad in my entire life, they will downvote you, accuse you of blaming the victim and swear that something like this actually happened to a friend of a friend. That every animal gif posted has some expert Reddit veterinarian either telling you, from a 5 second gif, you are a disastrous pet owner and should never be allowed near pets. I don't know but a lot of people claim to be on the spectrum on Reddit. Seems like a lot. Cunt is, in fact, still considered a very offensive word in Australia. Only use it for high impact, or among very close friends. That guy's wife doesn't want to do it with me. People who actually gaslight people are so good at doing it, do it so frequently, and do it at such small scales calling it out in real life is impossible. Saying someone is gaslighting you because you disagree with them isn't even close to the same thing as real gaslighting. This isn't even just a Reddit trope. It's like internet-wide, and maybe even worldwide. The white people don't like seasoning thing. Where? Where are they? Certainly not in any state I've been in. Cajuns, Texas Chile, fucking Missouri. Is it just an old people thing? Cause like yeah I've had unseasoned shit from old people, but I've had unseasoned shit from all races of old people. Edit who would have thought my most engaged with comment would be about white people actually using spices on a big thread that I got to late. Stay weird Reddit. <laughs>